everybody, and welcome to Circle Time with Miss A. Today, we're going to continue from the last episode where we learned how to write our numbers from one to five. We used songs and touch points to write our numbers. Today, we are writing our numbers from six through 10 using songs and our touch points to help us learn how to write our numbers and that numbers have a concrete meaning, meaning one has one dot and six has six dots and even nine has nine dots. So what are we going to do today? Hmm. I want to write and sing our numbers, please. Your turn. I want to write and sing our numbers, please. Okay, get ready. Here we go. Okay, this is the number six. This is a 10 frame, so let's count to six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. When we do our touch points from six to nine, we're gonna do something called double touch points. That means we're gonna do a little dot and a circle, and that will be one dot, two, three, and four, and five, and six. So let's see what our song is for number six. A loop -a -dee hoop There's no sticks in the number six. One, two, where it meets here in the corner, three, four, and down at the bottom, five, six. Now let's touch them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make another one. Ready? A loop -a -dee hoop There's no sticks in the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the number six. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, let's erase the number six and erase the six. Say, bye-bye, six. Bye-bye, six. What's next? Hmm, six. If you said seven, you're right. This is the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is kind of different. We're going to start seven by going across. Here is our song. Across the sky and down to your toes. That's the way a seven goes. This is how we count it, starting at the top. One, two, the middle. Three, four, the bottom. Five, six, and then we're gonna give the nose one little tap, seven. So that's how we count it. Let's count it with our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna make another seven, are you ready? Across the sky and down to your toes. That's the way a seven goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots on the number seven. Ready to erase? You can use your pointer finger or an eraser. And we're gonna go thrup, boop, thrup, boop is number seven. Let me see. We've done six, seven. Hmm, what comes next? How about number eight? Let's count the dots on our 10 frame. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got my marker. We're going to start at the top. Are you ready? Make an S and do not wait. Climb back up to make an eight. Now, number eight, I kind of look up here as we're starting with the eyes first. So watch on the left, we start. Sure, yeah. On the left, we start one, two, three, four, back to the left, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an eight, and it has eight touch points. Let's try another one. Put our marker at the top. Make an S and do not wait. Climb back up to make an eight. Hmm, my eights are kind of sideways, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you ready to erase the eight? Bye-bye, eight. Wow. There it is. Now let's think. We did six, seven, eight. Hmm, what's next? Let's see. If you said a nine, you are right. Let's touch those numbers on the 10 frame or those dots on the 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is the number nine. Now you can tell the difference between a nine and a, ten, uh, and a six by how they look. A nine is gonna have a straight line and it looks kind of like a basketball hoop where the six sits on its bottom. So there's a loopity hoop. There's no sticks in the number six. And the nine has the hoop up on top. Are you ready to make that nine? So we're gonna start our number nine with a hoop. Ready? We start at the top and we go a hoop and then we do a line make the number nine. A hoop and a line makes the number nine. And we're gonna start at the very top of our number nine right here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oop, don't forget the nose is a nine. Again, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you ready to make another nine? Here it goes. A hoop and a line make the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are our nines. Let's count our nine. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, nine. Don't forget to punch him in the nose or tap him on the nose. All right, are you ready? Let's erase our nine. You can do it again with your finger. And let's do the hoop first. And then the line, boop, make that number nine. Let's do the hoop. And the nine, boop makes the number nine. Whee! And my board is clean again. Now we're gonna look at the number 10. So on the 10, in a 10 frame, we can have all 10 dots. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But when we make a 10, we're going to make it with the two numbers, a one and a zero. Are you ready? 
A straight line down is lots of fun. That's the way to make a one. Put that one dot at the top. Now let's make a zero. A loop -a -de loop is a zero. Zero is my hero. But you know what? Zero's my hero because there are no dots on it. So when we make our 10, we have one dot on the 10 side and zero dots on the one side. And kids might not understand it right away, but later on they will. Here is our 10. Let's make one more. I'm going to try and make a smaller one right here. A straight line down is lots of fun. That's the way to make a one, one. And then we have a loop -a -de hoop is a zero. Zero is my hero. That's the numbers one through 10. Now I'm gonna explain again to the parents out there why we put numbers on, our, or why we put touch points on our numbers. So when we are adding or subtracting, even multiplying and dividing, kids will learn how to put numbers on them and keep them in their head. So we know as an adult, 10 plus three, equals 13. But here's what kids are going to do. They're going to say, ooh, zero, and then count their touch points. One, and I'm just putting the touch points on so that you guys can see it. One, two, three. So I'm going to bring the three down. Is there anything to carry? Nope. But there's a one point here. So let's bring that one point down. Is 13. That's a simple one. So let's try something a little harder. Let's do something like this. Let's do a 10. Let's do a five, a four, a one, and a two. Kids can learn two different ways. Once they're able to count to 10 and above, they can put the biggest number in their head. And I teach my students how to circle it. So they know 10, then they're going to go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And you get 22. If they don't know how to put that in their head, they go zero, no touch points. So they'll start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Two goes down there. I'm going to put carry the one. I have two touch points, one, two, and bring down the two. So 10 plus five plus four plus one plus two equals 22. So we are all done with doing our touch points on our numbers six through nine. All done for my students out there. I want all done, please. I only want all done, please. Okay. I'll see you again next time at Circle Time with Miss A. Bye.